Revolution. Yeah, buckle up. World Revolution. It's a world revolution. Yeah, buckle up. Tune in to the low revolution. Hey, what's up, everybody? We man here with my boy Pedro. Poncho, I mean Poncho. Pedro, Poncho, whatever. Let's get, Back. Let's get it rolling here. <laughs> Back with another episode of Little Revolution. Mm -hmm. Today we're going big. Today we today. are. Today we're going big. Today we have a uh, micro mini wrestling here today. The midget wrestlers of the big world. Yeah. <laughs> Micromania. Oh, uh, Micromania? Yeah, you said Micro Mini Wrestling. Oh, uh, Micro Mini M M M M M. M M M M M. What's up, buddy? Yeah, we can be the little mini M Ms. Yeah, little mini M Ms. Now we're just a bunch of mini M Ms. You guys are just different flavors and different colors. So who are you guys? We got Twenty Five Cent here. Yes, sir. Tiffany Payne. Tiffany. Little Dynamite. Billy Blade. Mascarita Sagrada. But Billy Blade, you're not a little person. But gave it away. <laughs> we can tell. You're an average <laughs> dude. Oh, okay. But we know you're the shady promoter, right? I'm the shady promoter. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, got the shady we definitely have questions for the shady That's promoter. Okay. That's okay. Uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Thank it's, you for having yeah. us. Thank we're, you. we're stoked to have you guys. You guys are on the road right now? We have uh, two tours. Uh, we have 400 shows a year with our two tours put together. 400 shows? 400 shows. We are on the road all the time. Um, we also have a Vegas residency opening up Memorial Day week, which will be basically four nights a week. We're kind of testing it out to see four more or whatever. Now, are so. you guys the ones that have a reality show coming out? We are filming a reality show right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys are filming um, one? Yes, we're filming for, for one. A, for a network? Or? Um, it's being shopped around right now. They've done the sizzle reel and everything, and uh, it's being looked around right now. Oh, cool. Are you guys, uh, so there's a bunch of different, like, little federations? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> little federations. Federal <laughs> no, 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 there's the Micro Wrestling Federation. Is that, is that with uh, Psycho? Yes. Okay, that's yes. And they're based and out of Tennessee. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then is there another one? There is one called uh, Extreme Dwarfinators. Dwarfinators? Dwarfinators. They I've sound that one. They sound pretty tough. <laughs> Yeah. Do you no, guys no. ever? Do they're, you guys, my, they're our rivals. I'm not gonna. Oh, give them, oh, I'm really? not gonna give them freaking credit. Wait. No. So <laughs> do you guys battle against them? Like, do you guys go? All right, it's on. Oh, Russell. it's on because we literally try not to. Can I cuss on here? You can do whatever okay. you want. We literally try not to talk shit. This is what I do not get about fucking wrestling. If you're doing what you love, if it's acting, if it's wrestling, if it's whatever. You should support all the other people that are do, are doing what their passion is, not talk shit about them. Mm. So the other companies. Well, Can I give you a little advice? Yes, absolutely. When people are talking shit about that you. That means you're doing something good. Yes. Yes. And plus, wrestling is all about talking it's shit. About Don't that. you yes. see? Yeah, it? They're, they're, they're the and heels, you know, I'm cool with that. Yeah. 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 I'm cool with that. Ride but when that you shit. literally take it farther than talking shit, like oh. to the person's personal life or their mm. family or their ch or their children that should not even be on limits that to me that's that's a little too much you know that's a little too much but the dwarfinators took it a little too far well they are the taller ones yes the they group. are yes they <laughs> are <laughs> yes they but, hardly have but, any digits on their on they their are? arrest <laughs> it's like why why the hell are you calling yourself dwarfinators when you hardly have any oh is that people? the guy that's called too tall I, I was looking some of these guys. No, out. too tall. No, so we have the a two we tall. Guy. pretty strong. Yeah, we have a two tall in our group. Is that what you're talking about? He's like our DJ, actually. Like he okay, runs our yeah, music yeah, and that, everything. That's, oh, yeah. that's he's, a well, he's our host on the others tour, and I'm the other host. He's, yeah, he's so. about my size. How are, wait, that everybody's gonna wonder. How are you involved in this? Well, have you ever seen uh, Willy Wonka? I mean, yeah, I'm like a Willy Wonka. Are all your <laughs> <laughs> Technically, 
Yeah, I mean, I'm hey, not we've been having the dance now. Well, you know how the you know Oopa, 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 Oopa Loopa thing goes? You yeah. skate with it. So does that mean that like you're my Willy Wonka? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of. <I> mean, <laughs> but at least I'm in the same yeah, world as you. Yeah, me. true. This guy's average Joe <laughs> going, I'm the giant. <laughs> let me, I'm let the me wrangle up a bunch of midgets and make them wrestle. I'm the world's tallest midget. He's the Don Brown of, he's the Don King of midgets. Oh, that's me. He's yeah. the Don King. Yep. That but you're be... also the roadie. You go and set up the, the ring. We do it all together, that, actually. Right? All yeah, the whole all crew sets up, breaks down, and goes to the next city. Like so, I mean, I do all the booking. I do all everything. With, it what takes about, to get it. So. What about this though? Mm -hmm. Whoever does the best on the weekend, I don't think should have to help set up. Or, the next time. Or, or the next time. They should have a... <laughs> like a yeah, I can see that. Right? Like a, yeah, like, a, a, a reward. Fair, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, a reward. Like, fuck, I don't want to set up. The thing is, is like... Like, you know, when you got, like, would the ticket. That would be awesome. Yes, that would like, be the thing is, we're trying to get in and out, you know? So we're like, like if we have to wait, or someone gets rewarded and not helps, that's okay. Except for the fact that we're trying to get in and out of that place that we're at, you know, just because we're at a bar. Because the longer our ring stays up, actually at a bar, you start getting all these drunk fuckers that you don't want to get in that ring. And it's only at midget wrestling because I've been a wrestler 25 years and I've never seen hardly anybody run in the ring over the years in any kind of wrestling when it was tall wrestling, right? I have seen people run in the ring. Yeah, tall ravishing, wrestling. Ravishing Rick Rude would always have girls Oh, come in definitely. And, make out with them just, and, and, and they would faint. That's because he called them in that ring. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a good gimmick. That's, that's that was amazing. a good gimmick. I love that gimmick. People but, are obsessed with that. Commitment. But people They're will obsessed with come, us. yeah, like, people will run in and just, they just want to hug you. No, I mean, not I mean, because I'm, cause I'm oh, not in the ring. They're performing. Because yeah. I've had people they do. that want to pick me up. They do. That's like, little pat dynamite. Me on the head That's and dynamite. Yeah. I do weird shit. Yeah. Like, they always Weird. want to put her on what, their shoulders, the, and I'm like, you uh -huh. don't, you, you tell them to pay up. Like if they want that photo of you on their shoulders, yeah, we make them tip them. You a take, lot, you, t you, you know? tell them you take our tips photo for pictures, op is very you know? popular when it comes. to I was stuff like, don't like do that. that shit for free, and you know, you're gonna fall <laughs> on your head. Yep. There you go. You have. That's the that's a good. Well, manager. and then when they try and run away, I'm I always tell them like I gotta work tomorrow. Like you can't drop me. I'm expensive. <laughs> that's good. There you go. So all of you. So do you know a guy named Zelwyn? Black dude, little I, guy. I think so. He goes by Five Cent, Mother. and he has a whole rap. Oh. oh, and he has a white suit, like like P Diddy suit, like a white. P. Oh, P Diddy suit. suit? No one, no one P Diddy's oh. canceled right now, but oh. I'm just saying he's he's like fucking decked out, and he comes out and he like a Biggie small suit. Yeah, he, 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 <laughs> he's, he's a little bigger, but he used to show up at auditions. That's like Biggie, and he would just start rapping. Big and we're small. like, this isn't even like what the audition's about. Dude. Like, <laughs> like he just wanted to be noticed. Um, he wanted to be noticed. Um, no, how absolutely. come he didn't? Yeah. How come he didn't go with Biggie Smalls? That's a <laughs> great <laughs> name. Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> Biggie Smalls is dope, dude. Dude, um, Biggie I, Smalls. It's already he's there. More of a legend than fucking. I'm not. I mean, I he's more say of a he's legend than Biggie Smalls. And he's right. a martyr because he's and dead. And it is funny, Biggie yeah. Smalls. I mean, he is the size of Biggie Smalls. He's kind of a Biggie, and he's littler. Sorry, we just changed your name. We just, <laughs> big, we just changed your name on air. I'll say this. Okay. Yeah, that's I, I was question. raised by, by a good person. So he always tells me this. You got nothing nice to say, just don't fucking say it. Because okay. that's the way I'm, I'm going to roll it like that. Well, on Little Revolution, you can say whatever the yeah, hell whatever you want. Whatever you want. So, like, yep. I don't. Uh, no, mm -mm. no, not the Why are you afraid your mom is going to watch this? Where are you from? I think Tennessee. It's funny. Tennessee, what part? Nashville. Oh, nice. I've been Religious? There. Damn right. <laughs> okay, and yes, I say it. So it was like a, gospel and, and Christian. All that? Uh, yeah, I do. I'll do a little bit of that sometimes, and then sometimes you I'll hide bring that, that into your act. Just, oh. Well, sometimes <laughs> I have to hide from him because every time I have to pray secretly without him noticing me. So Let's he, just say when, when his first... mom doesn't know he does on the road is probably for the best thing ever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, well, let's <laughs> let her know today <laughs> what just, happens yeah, on the road. Like, I mean, not <laughs> that way, but just come out. I'm not going to cut the one. I mean, I've done stupid shit, but yeah. Hey, man. I've been caught by her so many times. You're next to this dude. You don't think this dude's done stupid shit? <laughs> I've seen a guy by Brock Lesnar. I've seen a guy by Brock Lesnar. And then I body slammed Sami Zayn. Yeah, right. I saw that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's fucking righteous. Yeah. That's awesome. Did, did Sami Zayn jump into it, or did you really, like, pick him up? I picked him up. He's yeah. gonna, like, help you out and, no. like, jump into the... Sami Zayn, can, he's a good base, too. Like, he knows he's, yeah. he's great. Yeah. yeah he's, he's one of the best out there, actually. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Do you each have a favorite person that you like wrestling because it's just the chemistry is there, it works? You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Who? Um, Dynamite and I wrestle at times together, and um, I was she and I were actually I was actually her first match. She and mm-hmm. I wrestled. Um, through all these years of wrestling, I've never had a beer bottle broken on my head until this girl decided, you know, until this one decided this that it was time woman. for his wife to get a beer bottle broken. It's time broken to get on hardcore. If I can't you know, hit you, I might as well hurt it. You know? So was it sugar glass? <laughs> and yeah, no, it was sugar glass. Okay. But, it was like night you know, after night, this girl was but, getting slammed. I, but I was sitting here like I'm 49 years old. I've never been hit in the fucking head with a bottle. But okay, she was like, no, I'm paranoid. I don't, I'm so worried I'm going to hurt you. I'm like, just do it. Let's yeah, but just it's, do it. But like you said, it's the sugar, sugar glass. Is it's not not but it's still, it, it's still. No. The, 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 oh, the, I try yes. to explain it. The, 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 so the she used to break room bottles over yeah, her head. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. she made it sound like I want her to get hit with a bottle. Yeah. But if you just get hit Once I got used to it, it was no big deal. It was the way we set it up. Those was great because it was the last move of that match, you know, when it was out of nowhere and she had it behind her back and she turned right into it. So at a bar, because our nice. shows are bars, nightclubs like that. It's, yeah. It's the, it's the best spot of the night. You know, the crowd goes crazy. Because two girls are fighting, first of all, yeah. and then the bottle crashes, you know, so. So she and I have a lot of fun. I've been asked. I don't know if it's you that's been texting me or DMing me. Or yeah, the, with the Micromania. You. Yeah. No, I know, but, like, who has been, you haven't been the one that's like, hey, come and, and, and do a set. In front yeah, of it was our, me. Oh, that was you, okay. Yeah, because we've it had other. It terrifies me because I look at your guys' audience and everyone's drunk and there's beers flying everywhere oh. and shit. And I'm like, I'm not going to be able, they're going to be like, get off the <laughs> pit, they get off the ring, want to see this. They're going to love the you. They would love you. No, yeah, they would. Because they we, we actually had a show in Texas a couple years ago where they had a, a stand up and they were all tall people and they were just. They were just talking so much crap because they wanted to see midget wrestling, and they were just like, "That's what we I'm want saying, like, midgets, gonna, you right?" Know, like, you're but, gonna be funny there, dude. but you, you're a midget, being a little yeah, guy, tall, right? so you being a dwarf, you would have been, <laughs> you would have like been killing it. <laughs> and here's the crazy thing: our shows have 2,500 people. Something like that. we have a bunch, we have ranges from like 500, 2,500. You know, you would have fit in perfectly because we have another guy that does a set, a little guy that teams up with a. Uh, Brad Williams when they go to Texas and he's mm. done a set with us and stuff. Brad you know, Williams so. is our boy. Yeah, well, Brad's you know, awesome. Guy's him. Boy, but he's a huge, yeah, he, yeah. He's, a huge he's a huge wrestling fan. Does he, no, definitely. Uh, yeah. Does he, does, do you guys ever get him to like get in the, the ring and wrestle? Well, we've we've been to a couple shows, but every time we have a show that's kind of near, he's just not around. He's yeah. his schedule he's is so us busy. Shout outs. He's giving he's us giving shout, shout outs. outs. Uh, he also really uh, cool. obviously he's a big wrestling fan. We're trying to get we're thinking we're trying to get Micromania on a Chris Jericho cruise. Because, oh, yeah. like, he hosts that. That would be great. And he's starting to wrestle now. He's starting to get, like, little stuff in there with the taller guys. So I thought it would be cool to – because we have a school in California. So, like, man, it would be cool to get him to start training. And then at the Jericho Cruise, he actually wrestles a full match against even 25 or somebody, you know. It just How come you guys never reach out to this dude? This dude's like the – I was just – I was thinking, I think he's, he's, like, you he's and, like a fire hydrant. I think you two And he's hardcore, correct. that's for you sure. Know, he does a lot of crazy you shit. You know? 25, so what would your name be? Me? Yeah, you're <laughs> what do you think my name would Just be, dude? Man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's Pedro. Like, I, 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 Pedro. 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 Vote for Pedro. El We Man. Oh, okay. El We Man. Man. You'd have to wear the mask. We've got no, the plungers. We've got, like, you know, all kinds of stuff that they could, you know, get involved with. You know? It's so not my world. Not my world. I'd hurt people. We might go taste Yeah, I'd hurt people. But, yeah. I'm. Not well, so I'm calls sure me the meaning of the group. You, you've had done worse on jackass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he so, just likes to put plungers up people's ass. <laughs> did you hear that, That's mom? You want your mom? <laughs> did you hear that? Oh, That's oh, what he no. likes to do. As long as you're not getting the plunger, but that's the other way around, though. Usually, I put the plunger in someone's mouth when it goes up in the ass. Oh. Oh, so ATM uh, ass to midget. Yeah. yeah. Ass okay. to midget. So is that double penetration? Absolutely. I guess. You said one in the mouth and one in the asshole. At the same time, 25? <laughs> Baby, if I, can, if I have long enough arms for it. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> now it's coming out. Okay, well, I'm glad. T-Rex. Thank you, guys. T-Rex. Oh, yeah. now we're going to compare. Damn, dude. Yeah. I'd be scared of you. <laughs> Um, Biggie Smalls, or 25 cents. 25 cents. Yeah, Biggie I think we Smalls. need to go Biggie to the party 25. store after this. I think we have a new costume for, for tonight or tomorrow. No, go to Men's get Warehouse it. and get him a suit. A oh. nice suit, yeah. like Biggie with a hat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. With a hat, too. A suit. A suit. I've worn a suit so many times. He, he has a hat, though. He has to have that hat, too. But like the one Biggie, thing I, I don't want to wear is a freaking tuxedo because I look stupid in it. No. No, I was in a men's bar, and I used to wear tuxedos every time in high school. Because I said, wear your tuxedos. And every single time I wear one, I feel like I feel like I'm a kind of guy that someone's gonna tell you that your or grandma you just like died. Uh, like, <laughs> I, I I got what you're saying, but 
you forgot, like Biggie Smalls has a crown. Because yeah. he's a king. Yeah. So you come out in your silk suit. The, the, the king Biggie crown. Small. The I'm not no king, no. King Biggie Small. <laughs> How? Hey, take it and own it, dude. Yeah. Own it. So you guys have three rest, four wrestlers here today. Mm-hmm. How many are in the whole group? So normal, So we usually have about six to seven, uh, I guess, micros on each tour. So then the female ones is just you two? For yes. this tour, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Us, that's yeah. it? Okay. Yes. And then, yeah. so it's them two then wrestling. So, and, and we have another guy that's flying in. Actually, he'll be here in a couple hours, but he is flying back from Mexico because we had a week off to set up our, we're setting up our residency in Vegas. So yeah. we had to take a week to try to get everything going, you know? So you so, get a lot of Mexican wrestlers coming. We have a few. We have a few. Yeah, yeah. So he, I mean, this is obviously Mascarita Mascarita, Sagrada. Mascarita, He's Mascarita. a legend, 30 years of wrestling. So it's good years. to have somebody, you know, like a legend to come in and kind of like, help guide some of these younger guys and girls because quite frankly, pro wrestling, the big thing about micromania over a lot of companies is I'm a pro wrestler. So I've, I've ran, a, I've done wrestling 25 years, promoting 20 years. And a lot of these other companies are ran, they're not even ran by wrestlers. They're ran like by like three of them are ran by male strippers. So like, it's cool and whatever, but they don't have the, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Like male yeah, strippers, yeah, tall ones, by the way. What kind of fetishes are they <laughs> Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But you know what, I mean, they, everybody has their own way of you running things. Know. I just kind of run it the way like a professional wrestling show would be. And you know. How do you run the, it? Just, uh, we don't consider it a show, it's an experience. You know, we run it just like, like, uh, WWE. like WWE, I guess, or, you know, something like that. You know, okay. since you've obviously been a part of WWE stuff. Yeah. Like we, we run it from the beginning to the end, everything's a show. From the beginning of the it's music. A story. Because we, you know, we want to address the elephant in the room. The midget word, uh, we've had a couple shows canceled because we used the midget word. Why? Right. So, or in San Francisco or something? Yeah, exactly. Actually, in really? fact, it was, it was a show. <laughs> How in, did I know? In <laughs> Berkeley. In Berkeley. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is we ran five shows before that, and they were all sold out. But one, the last show, some lady uh, she decided she was going to. disability office. Yeah, so she decided she was going to call the venue and basically try to get it shut down. She tried to go that far. To get it shut down, and so they eventually like, called me. It's not just the midget work. She goes, they shouldn't even be allowed yeah. to step in the ring. They shouldn't be able they to wrestle. They have no right to even get in that ring yeah. and do what they're doing with little people. Yes. Yeah, because they're little, yes. right? Because and and I'm little. like, why? Because they think that you're going to hurt yourself or something. I, I don't know what it is. I, I think the I think there's a misconception of the of what we do. Yes, yes, we use the word midget, but midget wrestling has been around since the 1950s, and half our people on our our show. Like him, for example, been doing it 30 years. Uh, the gentleman I was telling uh, Wee Man about, uh, Dylan, who runs the other tour, Dylan Michaels, his father was a midget wrestler. His grandfather actually used to train all the old school midget wrestlers named Lord Littlebrook. Uh, and his dad was a uh, beautiful Bobby, but they used to train all the little guys uh, back in the day and, and book them in all these different federations back when it was- I like that his name was Lord Littlebrook. Oh, one of the most famous, yeah, he <laughs> was- Lord. Yeah. From England, so he was from England, yeah, and he was Lord. Lord Littlebrook, and he was uh, one of the best midget wrestlers of all what time. Kind of, what kind of dwarf was he? Was uh, he an Akon, Akon dwarf? Or? He Akon. Akon. Yeah, and, and he oh, was yeah. at WrestleMania three. A lot of people remember him. There was a, a King Kong Bundy versus Hillbilly Jim, and there was two midgets on each side, and he was one of the guys there. That's why he's his most famous, I guess, spot, you can say, but- I feel like when you guys do it, mm-hmm. when- as like a, a team, as a duo, it it, it 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 doesn't come off as such a gimmick. No, it doesn't. Like, as mm-hmm. opposed to when you have like Hornswoggle going in the ring. With Under the like, ring. It, it, right. It's almost like it's mm-hmm. his like sidekick. Right. Yeah. Whereas when you guys do it, uh, and I'm not talking shit on Hornswoggle. No, 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 he's awesome. Man. Yeah, he is. But, he's worked for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm get me horns. Yeah, he's <laughs> Swoggle. But like, you know what I mean? No, as, exactly. When you guys are doing it amongst each other, it's just like, wrestlers wrestling you guys are all doing well, we everything they all wear people. outfits you yep. guys all wear yeah. outfits mm-hmm. yep. like you guys are just doing it amongst each other instead of like yeah. trying to you know yep. an entertainment and it, we have a lot of people that come in our show not knowing what to expect and they walk in and they always tell us they're like we just thought we we're gonna see a bunch of drunk midgets being the shit out of each other and then you guys put on this Which would whole kind of dope as you know, <laughs> so, you know i'm not gonna lie i, mean, I, I, think, about I, it. Think, I think we man, we but. gotta get we man in 25 you know i'm like main event you know we don't need a ring what is going on we're not a fighter you know you did the you did the bar scene once but you didn't fight in that one um you know? i have a question yeah Absolutely. what if somebody's watching this no little person and they want to be involved they're like that's something i want to do that's yeah how what what does somebody get paid to do this per night? So with the pay, um, 
It's going to yeah. vary because, you know, we, we start out like on a lower level when it comes to the first, you know, when they first join us because a lot of the time they don't stay. We want them, we want people that are going to stay. So it's like pay raises, just like anything else, you know. Yeah, but Some wait, of these wait, guys can make, make making more. between 60, 100,000 a year. Really? Oh, yeah. 60 to 100,000. Easily. Rest and, that, and that's a low estimate. Some of these guys, I mean, especially. So 25 those, cents making 60 Gs a year. <laughs> more than that, more at least. That. Probably 80,000 a year, so. But now, wow. mind you, Damn, mind you, but Damn, dude, out of boy. But the thing is, is merchandise too. You know, we have Ladies, merchandise you sales. Hear that? This guy's got sixty. <laughs> and if I was twenty-two, if I was 22, he's only twenty-two making as well, that right? money at twenty-two, that's, that's selling t-shirts. That's pretty damn good. Is anyone getting hurt? Like, are you guys breaking shit? Um. Well, they they could probably answer that, but. A little dynamite yeah, answer let, let, that. Let, let, look at her, look look at her that. forehead. Let's put Billy Duran on a break. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Billy Duran's on a timeout. Yeah, yeah. Now. Let's, okay. let's, let's, hear, let's hear from you. What, what well, be... I mean, yeah, we get hurt, but I mean, I think that's a part of learning, you know? No, absolutely. You know, it's like kind of like your battle wounds, but how yeah. How many broken bones have you had? Uh, none. I mean, none? I look like a bruised banana all the time. But that's uh, okay. Okay. You know. I stopped well, counting. I just, super glued if yeah, you see your forehead. I just busted my head open on one of our poles our, for our metal frame for our ring, actually, yeah. before we had our week off. And it split open, blood everywhere. But, you know, it was funny because the crowd enjoyed it. Like, they didn't, like, I don't know if Billy heard it or, at all or anything. Yeah. But they were like, bring in the tables, bring in the tables. And they were going for it. <laughs> yeah. Like, they were going for it. Me, I'm freaking out because I'm like, man, I'm ugly. Like, they, they're going to see my big my big busted head, you know, it's all swollen. You're not ugly. And they're like, no, no well, you know, but pretty. that's just a part of your character. You were, you know, as, a, you know, you worry about what you express yeah. yourself. Yeah, it's wrestling. You know? So, like, but no, they didn't care. They didn't even think a thing of it. And. But, I mean, it happens. No stitches? Just super glue? Just super, just glue. super glue. Nice. Well, that's yeah. what we're mad that. about, by the way. That because is, yeah. Billy, you're on a timeout. Oh, sorry. You keep cutting yeah. people because off. Because I have a hospital yeah. story yeah. about it. That's I would, why. I will tell, tell him. Yeah. I will tell but him. I will say what he was going to say. Masquerita, he's wrestled oh. recently with broken bones, uh, ribs. He's had broken nice. ribs. And yeah. he chooses to still... You know, it's our fans. Our fans are, they love it. You know, oh, yeah. make sure to check up on Billy, yourself, Billy, or, or not Billy, uh, Bo, my buddy Bo. Yeah. He was I love Bo. About. He, he loves you guys. He I just can't this. do the he hardcore loves, stuff like Bo does. Stuff, Bo does yeah. thumbtacks and, you know, light Staples. bulbs. And, Shout it's out like, Bo I have Cooper. My crazy <laughs> Shout out Bo Cooper. I want to do it. <laughs> oh, you want to do it? I do. I feel it's like that would be on, actually yeah. fun put this, to do Put a towel. staple in this guy's head. Oh, no head. problem. Come on, yeah. okay. He said now that she said something. I didn't know, but I guess I'll bring yeah. out the staples. You now you can make like 120 G's. No way. Yeah. Yeah. A staple, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, where's my just, face? <laughs> what's the staple thing? Do you just throw staples in a, uh, on the floor, or do you have Ta one? Oh, yeah, the staple guy. Thumbtacks. The staple guy. The staple No, but he was talking about thumbtacks at first. So the thumbtacks get thrown on the ground, and they get thrown on. Yeah. Staple gun, an old school thing, or I don't know about an old school thing, but the staple gun. They used to put the staple and get the fans and give money. Some of the old school wrestlers and stuff. They, and if they give them a hundred dollars, they can yeah. staple them in their in their yeah. nuts. Well, you you've done that shit, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> that just gives me. But they, they'll take it for the fans. I didn't staple my nuts. Maybe not the nuts. I've stapled money to like my chest. Yeah, it's again. I went to. But I had a staple. No. I had a staple go through my hand right here. I was going to staple. It was a backward stapler. I was stapling shit to Steve-O, and it was upside down. <laughs> the staple went through here, and it was poking oh, out that like oh. that. Oh, oh shit. Oh, all the way through. Oh. Yeah, so I had to pull it out, and then I was just bleeding. So I did another one, like, right That's there, memories, so then I though, looked man. like, oh, yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Like Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You could, uh, I would beg you to staple him. I'd give you that. I would be like, here's that hundred, staple those I'm nuts. I'm good. I feel like it's all about the memories. Those guys would make some good money doing that in our shows. When we yeah. first started, the guy would do it. to sell you like that. 100, no, 500 the first night. Every like, show wow. you go to, you can't keep an eye off on this one. Because she would try to like tell people, hey, I'll pay you to take 25 cents home with you. Yeah, and I'll well, look at her and I'm like, it's I'm with this. I thought she was just trying to get you laid. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Don't go there. Don't go take there. Take him home. Like, you mean to two random dudes like, can just take out. 25 cent home and you'll Stripper. pay we them? Had, we had yeah. ty our mini, mini Gene Simmons in here and he was talking about midget delivery service oh. in, in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That would, that, that'd be dope, though. You guys hey, are off of Vegas. You're gonna, and we're in Vegas now, 25. Yeah. 
Yeah. You're gonna that could be, that could be your sidekick. I'm, side gig. I'm, I'm not shit. doing that shit. You no. Know. <laughs> no. You're going to be handcuffed next to like a, the groom, like pissing next to him. <laughs> friends tossing you around. And a little shit side man. Hey, that's that right. You know, we told you guys get yeah. side acting jobs in Vegas. You know, when we have days off, there you go. You know? So no more on the road tours when you guys have a residency? We're still on the road. We are still doing the shows and then um, still both tours are going to still be working. And then we add in the rest What's both tours? Like, I don't get it. We have one tour that does East Coast and one co tour that does West Coast. Do you guys ever, like, get all of them together? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Who's in the East Coast That's group? Like WrestleMania. We have Dylan Michaels. Um, yeah. That is beautiful Bobby's son. And uh, Lord Littlebrook's grand grandson. grandson. Mm -hmm. And um, so he runs, he's our tour manager. We have Chica Chicana. She's three foot tall. She's a little mm -hmm. ref. She's the cutest little thing ever. She's a ref, okay. She's yep. a ref. Everyone wants to take her home. Um, we also have uh, a guy named Too Tall. He's our like DJ, the host Too over tall, there. Yeah, he's pretty strong. And then we also have um, Little Joker. Little Joker. He's uh, his character Little from Latino. Next Friday. Yeah. yeah. And then we have uh, what's Will Will's Little Billy. Little Little Billy. We got uh, the Human Tornado. He's the tallest midget of the show. He's six foot. We do tall versus small every night. He was uh, in. He's he was the in only the, his claim to fame. Only black guy <laughs> in Nacho Libre. So he like, that's his whole thing. But I mean, um, and then we also have a little bunny and a girl that just joined the tour over there. So now we have another girl over there. A little and, bunny? Uh, her name is, she, she like calls herself. A, a play, like a, is like, she a playmate? Blonde? She's no. blondish. Okay. Yeah, no. she kind of like the playmate kind of thing, I guess, you know, she does the bunny. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. And then we have, uh, let's see, uh, that's about it. Uh, yes. We have, uh, we also have Mini God. He's like oh, a professional yeah. dancer. He, he's like kind of like the host and he does refereeing. He and, does like the 80s break dancing. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's, so he's awesome. You down. guys, when you guys get in the ring against each other, is it choreographed? Yes. Or like, pretty do you much. guys like hang out before? And like, I mean, obviously you are, but like whoever you're going to wrestle, if you're going to wrestle him, right? Are you guys kind of like talking about? She's not going to wrestle him. No. Oh, I wrestled 25. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? You wrestled 25? Oh, yeah. 25 was, I was wins. his first person that he wrestled when really? he when he started wrestling. So, and I loved it because I got to slap him. And it wasn't fake slap. Do you go for the balls? I oh. kicked him. <laughs> I made sure I kicked him there. We, have, we definitely have a move called Twist a Dick. The old Twist. Twist the Dick spots. Yeah. Let's, wait. Which, by the way, Mike Romani created. Yes. Are, are, oh, my God. You, I right. think you know wait, from the UFC. Say from the UFC fight. Tell it, explain Twist the Dick. <laughs> Billy, you're on timeout. You keep uh, cutting uh, people uh, off. I just uh, said Twist the Dick. I, sorry. Okay. So, that shit's hilarious. Honestly, right. Twist the Dick was created by Billy Blade over here. But Ooh, I got to yo. experience it the first time with 25. So basically what I do is we're beating the shit out of each other. I get him in the ropes and I put his legs up over the rope. And I go in the middle of the crowd and I start chanting twist his dick. They go sh crazy. They love that shit. So 25 cent, all of a sudden he gets his dick twisted. And guess what? One more time. Get that crowd Wait, involved. How Tell us what you do when you twist it. Like, what do you do? I twist his You go nuts. up into the balls Hell and then yeah. just straight. Yeah, because we don't him. want him to fake it. You know, he's got to <laughs> feel it, you know? we got. He's got to show that. that you hard, dude? That, <laughs> oh. This one? No. <laughs> a good answer. A good, answer. <laughs> good answer. Thank you. <laughs> so you have people in the audience going, twist oh. the Oh, dick. yes. Oh, yes. Twist the That's it, it's blown What about the twist off. the nipple? Oh, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do the nipple twist. That's a nipple twist. Yeah, yeah, nipple twist. twist. Yeah, 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 twist. Yeah, 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 I think you should be allowed like, to twist the nipple. No, I would rather he, twist the clit. He's done <laughs> twist the Jesus. clit. Yeah. Wow. Explain twist the clit. Yeah, oh, okay. to me. Okay. So most <laughs> when I wrestle her, I'm usually the bad guy in this shit. Okay. So I'll prop her up the way she pops me up. On the ropes. Yep. And then I chant it, twist the clit. But then they, they and the fans are like, there's no way he's gonna actually going to do it. There's sometimes... Sometimes I actually would do it, but then I was like, as a heel, I'd be like, no, 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 I'll do something uh, bad. But he has the heel, the heel. I'm, but when I thought it was a face, and I definitely would do it, but like, heel, nah. 
The heel's a good but one. But you're saying he's done it. He's done it. I've done it. He's he's, done he's it. gotten a little clip. And then I remind him. I thing. remind him yeah. afterwards who signs his paycheck. I'm like, you do remember Billy. who signs. <laughs> oh, Shady promoter oh, Billy. That's your, that's You're the just his side piece. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> Tiffany, when you twisted the dick, yes, is it true what they say about black men? Uh oh. Which is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, don't make. Don't do it. The same. The same, man. The same. He's talking about that BBC, you know. That. Oh yeah. With 25, I'd say no. Oh. Wow. Yeah, two inches. yeah he's only two inches from mini, the floor. Mini, 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 mini. You know, he's mini, mini. Oh. But he tells all the women he's two inches from the floor. <laughs> Yeah. 25 I mean, inches from the floor. I mean, it's like I blow a tripod. I'm walking with my third leg on it. <laughs> whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he tried. He tried. There's he no, tries. There's, there's no try. There's only do. Not only <laughs> right. do they call him 25, right. so, but he's got a huge hog. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it for 25 cents. <laughs> I'll fucking take that. They throw plenty of coins. Oh, man. So you, would, you would just be paid 25 cents to show your dick? Hell yeah. Damn, yeah. man. Like, you don't want to want more than that. Okay, hang on, hang on. He'll I'm get a life. I'm going to say this. Every Them single time a fan would tip us, tip me, they give me a quarter, right? Yeah. I'm like this. I go home. My mom be like this. Where do these quarters come from? Let's see. Fan, fan, fan. Oh, I'm a bunch of fans all around the country. Like, yeah. come on. And then, like, she's like, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Damn, that's a lot there of you money. Go. You pay me quarters. Have you not seen Get Rich and Die Trying? You gotta collect your <laughs> coins and everything. Spare change. Any, uh, any genitals pop out in these wrestling acts where people are like, whoa! Sometimes. Not, we try not. We actually try not to. So, yeah, but course. sometimes. I mean, you know. there's little kids there, too. Because right? we do do oh, kids shows. Oh, it's all ages? We do do no, kids no, shows we, at times. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. But we get more fans of Flashes all the time. Oh, all yeah. these guys get flashed. I mean, tits, everything. Yeah. We have a, a show we do. The the promoter there wears a kilt with nothing under it and oh make sure gosh. that when we there, that's how she and I get greeted. It's like, hello, how are you guys doing? <laughs> you think it would be freezing? <laughs> like it's raining. We had a whole like show and he it was raining. Sure. And we wore it. Plus, you know, we do all the bike rallies too. Yeah, we do Sturgis, Sturgis and all that. And all that. that yeah. Craziest uh, time. Oh uh, yeah. Nothing but nudity. Like when you you know so. It's just kind of normal with all those biker rallies. One thing about us, you can see the coochie and the booty and the titties. But when they don't get mad at us, but they get mad at the tall folks from looking at it. You know oh, yeah. I mean? There you go. Don't give away the secret. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my mom, no. no this <laughs> happened <laughs> I got to make sure to tell you your mom, your mom's busy the day this <laughs> no. airs. <laughs> my mom caught me one time at the age of 13 at a Walmart. Checking <laughs> booty? I was checking everything, and my little cousin right sitting right next to me. I'm just at Walmart. Me and him are both looking like this. Down the aisle, the girl and my mom, my auntie, would like slap the back of our heads, like, "Don't look at that." Are and you, and we kept doing it. She was wearing like a little skirt or something. Mm -hmm. Is your mom a little person? Tall. Tall brother. Tall. Are you the only little person in your family? Um, I have a great uncle who's four eleven. Okay. Got He's it. got an acorn dwarf. I'm an acorn. Yeah. I don't know, but about, he's not. I don't not. know. I haven't met him. He's just short. He's, yeah. How about you? Um, I'm adopted, so I was the only little person in my family. My were mom you're... and dad were little. Oh, they were? You're, you got long arms. I'm but... hypo. Okay. I'm hypo. So hypo? It's, yeah. So it's... Which is, so you could be, like, that's what, a hypo is like what a jockey is. Yeah, right? pretty much. Like, I mean, it's like, I think it's like the heavier I am, it, you can tell more. But, like, if I'm on my skinnier days, it's, you know, you it's like, oh, she's shorter. She yeah, just, yeah, yeah. you know, is she and little? You, you're an Akon. Mm -hmm. Are your parents small? Nope, I'm the only one. Me too. I'm only I'm lucky charm. Sam. Why are you what wearing I, why are you wearing height cheater shoes though? Don't you know? <laughs> don't you know that about yeah, that in the I'm little person like world? Like six foot tall. I've you know? dated tall women. So, you know, I don't know. I, I love I, the tall women wearing heels yeah. though. I just you know, <laughs> I don't know. No, she's not, wearing, they're technically not that tall. Those are height cheaters. I have higher flip flops. She has higher heels than that. Do little people give you shit about that? Yes. I I know. But you know what was weird when I was always in LPA and I was always going to conventions, I always felt too tall. So I would wear like the flattest of the flat shoes. 
sandals. And, and because I always felt like I was too tall at the conventions. Okay, how does LPA feel about this? Can I please? Oh, <laughs> can I speak? I want to say just because. Billy. No, I have to. Because okay. this gentleman over here has a whole family of little people. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. Yes, the whole family. Yes. Like almost all of them, yeah. Dolos. Yes. Dolos is no, that chico in no. la familia. Mama, papa? No mama, papa? Brother? No. Uh, All three brothers, little. Y todos son luchadores? Mm -hmm. Are they all wrestlers? That's what I said, yeah. guys, because I know Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. I, ask him if anybody yeah. else. So it's just his three brothers. Is, is his mom and dad short, though? Tu madre y tu padre son chiquitos también? Regular. Regular size. Regular mm -hmm. size. Poquito regular? Yeah. That's what I thought. They're like smaller. They're well, little Ecuadorians. Is he Mexican Ecuadorian. or Ecuadorian? Guess. Que eres? Mexicano? Mexicano. Mexicano. Okay. So, so, entonces, solo tu, tus hermanos y tú son chicos. Sí, claro. Nadie más en la familia. No, nadie más. So, you're going to have to translate this on the, <laughs> on the web. Like, I'm putting subtitles on. Yeah, here. subtitles. <laughs> yeah, subtitles. <laughs> Let them know what you're saying. <laughs> translate. And, uh, Billy. What's up? So, um... Is it a fantasy you had to be with the little person? Like, or is it a, mm. yeah, what, yeah, where, oh, yeah, because oh, then, oh. then you started a whole company about I it, it or? You started to get to the nitty gritty of shit. <laughs> 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 kind of creepy, dude, kind of creepy, bro. <laughs> Let's bring out that creep factor. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, your hand jobs make your dick look huge. So, I mean, that helps a lot. You know? well, it's, she does, she has regular hands. She doesn't have, like. Mean. Yeah, yeah, but she's a woman. <laughs> Women have small That's hands. True. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, not no. okay. Uh, yeah, no, I was I, gonna I, say her hands are smaller. Her hands My are hands are really same. small. Yeah. They're yeah, kind of the same size. Okay, okay. Oh. All right. No, cool. Uh, cool. You got a big dick. It just got thrown in my lap one day. You got a, <laughs> what do you mean it got thrown so into I've your been lap one day? Twenty years, like I said, and we went to a midget wrestling show in in Riverside. Okay. And we provided a women's match for him, and the guy that was hosting was just terrible. And he said, hey, man, I know you've had a wrestler. Can you just take over the mic for me? I'm like, I'm just here to watch. Sure, I'll take over. I started talking, and then I went to the show the next night. And then within a, a month or two, he got fired. He said, hey, uh, Billy, I got all these uh, listings for all these venues throughout California. I know you run shows. Are you interested in taking months off? I'll, I'll take them, but I don't know if I'll actually ever do midget wrestling. So then I started looking around to see how many midget wrestlers I actually knew throughout the, throughout the United States and whatnot. I ended up knowing a lot more, including his brother, actually, started wrestling with me and his brother's wife. and. Uh, yeah, we just started thing running about four or five, six shows a month. I didn't want to do too many around California because it's such a big state. COVID hit, made us even busier because four, four months after COVID, all the other states started opening up except for us. So we just started traveling all over the United States. Went from four or six shows a month to 20 shows and then eventually two tours, 40 shows a so month. So you guys were just doing super spreaders. It's just crazy, yeah. <laughs> super <laughs> spreaders. <laughs> Mini <laughs> super spreaders. <laughs> 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 They're like, it's just down there. Don't worry. You're not going to get it. It's lower. No, you know, one of the midgets never caught the COVID because it went right over their head. I mean, that's what they told me. So I don't know. So, but anyway, that's a bad midget joke. But it's, you know, that's a bad woman's joke. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That was my, uh, no, I don't know. Burr, burr, burr. Go back to time. Yeah. What were you saying about LPA? LPA, LPA yeah. little people. Billy, you're on time out again. How do they feel about you guys? Well, she has a personal like, experience. And I would like y'all's input on this also because... I was raised in LPA. My father was one of the chapter presidents. My mom is the one that started the adoption organization in LPA. So you were adopted by little people? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's cute. Yes. What's, I like what's that. Mark's name? Mark Pavanelli. Did you know yes. Mark Pavanelli? Very well. He's, yeah. a Very well. He's a good, He's a good friend of yeah. Very well. And um, so I was raised in LPA. I was raised where you don't say midget. I was, ra I was raised all of that. So now that I do this, I have so many LPs that I'm, I'm really good friends with, but I have them literally, you need you, to stop you this. You got involved you, too much. You need to, th this has gone too far. You know, stop the midget word, stop this, you know. Do you know that, that everybody else out there, like I've been on Kevin and Bean and stuff, and there was two LPs on it, and they kept saying midget, midget, because they knew like, it was like getting to them, and I yes. went on like, really? You're gonna say words to me and think it's gonna hurt me? Yeah. And they're like, oh, it's different saying it to you, you know? And yeah. it's like, so when we started doing the show, we promoted it. Right. We're, we're, we're like doing Tootsie Roll midgies. Yeah. We're yeah. like, yeah, we're like, F you midget. Like, right. you know, we're, we just, we're putting it out there more so that people, it, it was a word people used to define little people. Right. And it's, right. yeah. And I, think I don't know when it got, 
when you with because uh, we do midget wrestling and i think honestly like if you walk up to someone and just be like oh hey you want to go watch little people wrestle or if you walk up to someone and be like oh my god you want to go watch midget wrestling yeah you're you're not discriminating you're explaining what you're going to see you're you know exactly what you're walking into yeah and so i don't that's what i don't get with lpa because i went to barcelona i did the whole d triple a all of that you have boxing, you have swimming, you have everything of those sports that they support. What is it with the wrestling? Because, because it, yeah. the other organization, they don't use the word midget. They use micro, and they're still after them for it too. So uh, when you are when you were talking about uh, Spain and stuff, so with boxing and stuff, is it midget boxing? Or yeah, they had midget boxing. That's what it's called? Uh, they didn't use the word midget, but okay. they had the boxing. Little you know, boxing. little boxing. Uh, I mean, that's the thing with LPA. You, you're, you're able to go there and compete against yes. people your size and, and every sport, but exactly. they're not using the word midget, but they're just... Right. LPA gets really a, upset that you guys Use are the kind word of mi- just like yeah, riding the, that word. Right. And then, but one of the other midget companies that is in Tennessee, they don't use the midget word. They took it out and they just use micro and LPA is still after them. I'm more offended by micro. See... Fuck using the word micro. This yeah. ain't micro. Because this to me, midget. to me, <laughs> micro is you're you're kind of making you know, just, you know. But you know, it's in like one of our wrestlers, Dylan, on our other tour. He said something. He goes by midget all the time. That's how he was raised in midget wrestling. And he goes, "Why would you want to be called a little person?" And I was like, "What?" And he goes, "Because everyone knows you're little, and everyone knows you're a person." So why why would why did why is yeah. LPA so like no you're a little person? He goes, <laughs> what about what about short king wrestling? What about the queens? Short, short royalty you know how they wrestling. Have the word short yeah. king and all yeah. that and like progressives are like coming up with all these words to label yeah. like. Oh, like, now we're yeah. getting you're going people. you're getting woke on us now. You're no, getting woke. Get I'm just saying woke. like what is like, what is okay then? Nothing. Exactly. Who cares? It's like what is okay because I I should probably. I don't know if I can say this on here. You can say whatever but, the okay. fuck you want. Matt Roloff, very good friend of yeah. ours. Okay, very good friend little of mine. Little people, big well, world. Yes, little yeah. people, big world. Very good friends with my parents before my parents passed. We were at the casino in Vegas, and Twenty Five knows him from LP convention stuff, and we sat there. We were talking to him and everything. He supports midget wrestling, but put it here. Due to LPA. Well. He doesn't want to come to the show because of the backlash that he would get supporting Midget Wrestling. Question with, with Midget now Wrestling. I'm going to so much trouble for this <laughs> online, probably. Who are you going to get in trouble from? <laughs> right. Don't you, know, you run your own life? Yes, so I do. So who are you going to get in trouble from? I'm but assuming most of your audiences like, are drunk, right? Yes, most and of them. Are, now, are they going, Midget, Midget? They do. They go. do. That's probably what I'll be. Because... I don't mind the word midget. I don't care about it. it. You know, like, but I do stand up. And if I had people chanting midget, midget, it would kind of really fuck me up. Oh, it fucked okay. that whole thing up. I think because you're not going to be able to focus. But it's not like at, at it's not like at um when you're doing stand up, people are chanting your name anyway. Yeah. But that is just a, a weird thing, yeah. I guess. And maybe little people, midgets, whatever you want to call them. When they go to show, like, they know what to expect at your show. Right. And they just don't want to hear that word being chanted, like, right. by a bunch of, by, by anybody. And they don't want to hear the word in general, but then when they're hearing it, chanting and doing all well, that. Well, like, it's... and people ask her and I all the time, like, what do you want to be called? They ask, they, they ask us, they ask Little all dynamite. of us, what do you want to be called? <laughs> and I'm like, my name. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know? Exactly. And they're like, well, no but anyway. you do midget wrestling. I'm like, that's not who I am, though. That's my business. That's yeah. that's my work. But I'm still, you know, you're Wee Man. You know, I'm yeah. Tiffany. I'm, you know. He's Pedro. I mean, you know, Pedro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. There's, there's a, like a fine line because. He's it, trying. I do. He's I, trying. When, in doing stand up, I'll go and do these these mics with a bunch of other different people. Yeah. Different races. And I'll do my joke. I say the word midget in my joke jokes a lot, you know, and then. I think I don't know if I make it okay or it's just because I'm little and non-threatening that other comics will go up there 
and be like, so the midget was up here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But they never like go, oh, so the they Mexican was up here doing this or this. Yeah. But they feel like it's okay to say that instead of just going, we're all comics, we're all friends, we're all, we yeah. all know each other. Exactly. We're, we're all introduced when we go up there. Instead of just calling me by my name, like when they're talking about another comic, calling them yeah. by their name, they, they, they choose to do that. And I'm like, why is, why is that okay? But yeah. it's like, and then in my head, I'm like, with me and Jason, I'm like, we're trying to fight to like make that word okay. But then that kind of affects me when that happens because yeah. it's a disrespect thing, you know? Like they know that's, my name. That's when I see where it comes from. You know wrong. what I mean? So yeah. the picture was up here. Yeah. yeah. Dis disrespect. But right. anything's, you know. Yeah. Can be dis, you know. Oh no, absolutely. The way you put the way you put any per word or whatever. Oh no, or what, any yeah. word can be derogatory. Oh yeah, yeah. and I mean it's on like the intention behind it, how you say it. Like slutty girls can be, be joking, like, we're the know, slutty saying. girls. Yeah. But then if you're like, what's up, slut? You know what I mean? Then the way you put, like, you know, yeah. like, what did you just say? <laughs> yeah, you know, like, what did you just call me? You know? How do you feel? Twenty-five cent. Right. Um, same thing when she was saying, like, I also grew up in LPA as well, and doing the same thing, like not to say the word midget or anything, but then like, I've been being called that since high school. And then I'm like, okay, you know what? You're right. Yeah. I am. I'm yeah. proud. There you and go. And then I keep doing LPA things and then they start like saying, you're not a midget, you're a dwarf, you're a little person. And I stopped going because I was like, I well, want to try this. We've also been told, like, if you're going to come in here and you're doing do midget wrestling, you're kind of like not welcome in LPA anymore because we don't support that. So you guys got sh you're you're shunned from LPA? No, no I, we've I, just I, been like kind of told, like, you know, you what you do isn't like acceptable, you know. But so, I'm sure they'll accept your money. Well, the way <laughs> I went to the I went to the I went to the my little people chapters chiller cookoff thing, and right when I walk in, it was. Dead silent. They saw my mom. Should have whooped all their ass. You should have no. whooped all their ass. No, no, they got dead silent because no, they saw no. It was dead silent when I walked in because when they saw my mom, they said hi to her. But when I walk in, it's like shit. That means you're doing something right. Yeah. 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 And I was like, and then one of them, who knew my mom and me when I was young, say, "Oh, how's the wrestling thing going?" I was like. I was about to say, one of y'all was about to say some shit. I'm going to walk out of here. It's going good. Because I told my mom this. I even told my mom before I walked in, if they give me shit about this, I'm paying an Uber to go back home and I'm staying home. Yeah. And I'm being dead well, ass. I That's what I said. I think in our world today, everyone is so quick to judge. Everyone is a keyboard warrior. Everyone is, you know. Until they get popped in the back face. Yeah. Then, well, it. can I, I'm going to mention something. You tell me to stop if I not. When he goes home and goes to church, his church turned on him for using the midget word. Now, really, in Tennessee? Well, you well, it's half, 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 half. <laughs> Some members of his church turned on him. Okay. And you're like, really? Like, are they little people? No. no. And it's like, why can't you? So like, you're really gonna turn on on him for? doing his job for doing something he loves for going out there making people forget their problems for two hours because just like i'm sure with you guys and stand up and everything we're entertainers and we've all been where we have probably had paycheck to paycheck and sometimes you spend your last you know paycheck money to go to a show or do something like that and that's what i tell these guys i was like you never know anyone's situation that's in this building mm -hmm. and our job is to go out there and for those two hours make everyone forget about their worries or their troubles and have a good time and show them look we're no different than anybody else and but, that's what we do but, yeah you know? but then one thing i always remember was like my church will go to my mom face to face and tell them what i was doing was wrong and i got pissed because she keeps calling me every time we're on the road Saying that what you're doing, they told me you're doing was wrong because you these kids are looking up to you because you're like the inspiration of these kids. And I was like, Mom, they're not you. Yeah. I'm me. Yeah. If they got a problem with me, tell them to come to me face to face, man to man. I don't give a shit on what they say, what I what they said I can't do or what I want to do. Let's judge those people behind that are at because church. And what are they I doing at their I house? Walked in, yeah. I walked in. I walked in. I'm at the church. Because when he came to me with that, I'm like, what? Yeah. And he's showing me messages and stuff. And I'm like, wow. 
Okay. And makes like, sense what we were talking about yeah. earlier when I was yeah. mentioning yeah. the church. Because when yeah. I walked in, though, yeah. So it was, I told the elders what I'm doing is what I love. This is a dream that I had when I was a kid. Yeah. And I told them, you can't stop me. They can't stop me. But the only person, two people that can stop me is me and the man upstairs yeah. who tells me when I'm done. Yeah. Cool. Got a little silent now. Yeah. He's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with him. Yeah, it's, like, well, it's, fine. it's fine if you're sleeping. So who's he? Are they wrestling tonight coming up on the tour coming up? Is it no, them two? No. So well, we have another guy flying in. Oh, yeah. And he'll, he'll be wrestling him. It's like a Lucha Libre micro, a mini match. Whatever. Yeah. And then who's 20 25? And then wrestling. these two Dynamite. will wrestle. Oh. And then I'll be wrestling. I'll wrestle t- tomorrow. Mm. Now we've had we have other people that are on our shows. We do sideshow acts. You know, we have a guy named Nick Sims. Isn't this a sideshow act? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Acting right. Is, is there hookups going on on the show? On this little yeah. Tour? Is there? Is, is there? there? No. Well, I'm married to her, so that's so one that hookup. that's, that's one, one hookup. Yeah. I mean, he's my well, maybe, he, he's my cuñado. Yeah. I would say that, I, what about, I, what about I personally, it? I'm not into that. It's it, I I like the biggers. I like. I like Your average. She likes she the goes tall for the average, average guys. guys. That's what you call them. Biggers. She goes for the biggers. I like I the mean, big ones. I mean, it's not the end one, but definitely. I like the, the, the big ones. ones. Yeah. No, I know. The BBC, what we were talking about earlier. Oh yeah. Oh, you're in there. Oh. She's tall. She it's, likes tall. Stuff. But, but it's at least you know I'm honest. I Are you a part of LPA too? No. So that's actually like I'm totally different from that kind of story. I. Where are you originally from? Missouri. Missouri. Mm-hmm. I was never in any LPA, anything like mm-hmm. that. I was in a broken home, so my parents, like, I was just worried about where I was going, you know, for the week. But my parents didn't want any me in any of that, you know, mm-hmm. nothing. Like, somebody would, we would be in Walmart, somebody talk, come up and talk to me about LPA, my parents, and they're like, no, get a, like, you know. So it was never anything like that. It was just till I got here that kind of the whole midget thing and everything. And I never really had a problem with the midget word. And yeah. I don't see a problem with it personally. But when you get when a disrespectful, you know, be, you downgrade me and think that I can't do something or look at me different just because the way we are, then that's when I'll say something, I'll get a little spicy. But other than that, I mean, it is what it is, you know, it's what we are. I, I don't mind, you know, it's yeah. not a big problem. Exactly. I don't see the whole controversy get it about it you know yeah that's why i kind of pull myself out of it because it's just like well whatever you wanted to be referred to as but you have no right to say something to me about it if you aren't a little person or midget or whatever yeah. you want to say yourself yeah you know what i mean yeah. so like how can a big tall guy <laughs> tell me i can't say midget yeah okay it's just yeah. like you know it's just i would, have no room to speak yeah were you on jerry springer no. No, which one are you? That was you. You're Jerry Springer. Yeah. What for? What were you on Jerry Springer for? Uh, I was actually employed by NBC Universal to be on that show, and I was on it 30 times. <laughs> 30 times. <laughs> yeah. I was on Jerry Springer, but we talked about Jackass. Yeah, what, what, and it was it was the best day ever on the whole production's life. Well, I bet it they was. They were like, we don't have nobody crying. We don't have no broken homes. We don't have... <laughs> oh, they were laughing. They're like, this is the best day ever. Production. Like, I awesome. I gotta say I was um I was very blessed to be on that show even though it's trash talk TV and I did everything and everything I shouldn't have done on that television. You show. got naked on the show? Oh hell yeah, yeah I got uh, naked on the show. Got double I got to bat I, on the show. I got to <laughs> buy a dominatrix on the show. She's actually one of my best friends now. Who? He got, he got to meet her. her. Name's Raven, Mistress Raven. She's like six Raven. foot tall. <laughs> She's got th- horns you know coming out of her know, head. Raven. Everything and. It was great, but I actually, what a lot of people don't know about actually Jerry Springer is that the reason he did that show was for his daughter. His daughter is blind and he wanted to be able to put her in the best schools and he did not expect that show to take off and that show took off. And so he was able to give her a really, really good education and that was, you know, that really impressed me. And then when he went um, on Dancing with the Stars, his daughter was getting married and that's why he went on that show and he wanted to learn to do the waltz and uh, so everyone that was like actually like had been like employed by him they sent out messages and um, to vote for him 
And he's like, I just want to get to the loft. I want to learn to do this dance for my daughter. Yeah. And then get me the fuck off the show. And he literally made it to that day, did the waltz, and, and that then nobody night he got voted, voted on. Again. Yeah. You know? But, you know, and a lot of people don't know that story about him. You know, he yeah. did that show for his daughter. Hey, right. I, I have something to, to say to you, 25 Cent. Um, this is what you tell your church. Uh, you, you mentioned earlier that this is something, wrestling was something that you always watched, that you loved, that you always wanted to do, right? Where else are you gonna? Uh, uh, how else are you supposed to compete unless you're doing it in micro micromania midget wrestling? You That's tell true. them that, right. like you're following your dream. I, I think. I mean, yeah. you know, it, he's not gonna go to the. You know what I mean? You're not gonna be competing like in regular wrestling. No. That that that's more just of a gimmick. What, what you guys are doing, you guys are all competing against each other. You're competing against your weight class, against people I mean, your size. It's like, entertainment. I mean, just I tell your church it's, it's like, entertainment. And if you don't like entertainment, turn off your TV. I used to do amateur wrestling <laughs> in high school. <laughs> It doesn't define who what? you are. I did amateur wrestling in high school and middle school. Though. Okay, nice. And that's when I. That's but when that's you, where you got your you got your skill from. Yeah, of yeah. course. Because when I first started amateur, it's like I didn't know it was actual thing until I was keep watching WWE when I was younger. Yeah. Until they taught me, okay, you, it's different than what they do, the chops and the punches. But then when I looked at it a little slower in the old school, what Billy was telling me, you see the actual amateur stuff because what they get called like, chain wrestling now. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it's the same thing I used to do in high school, like on the mats. Yep. That's really cool. And when you were watching it younger, who was your favorite wrestler? Oh, man, don't tell me, guys. I got to do Mount Rushmore again. <laughs> because a lot of people tell me Mount Rushmore. But first time watching was John Cena. It's my first time. Oh, John first Cena time was your first favorite. Watched. Cena's I good. I like John Cena, man. I love Cena. What about the Hulk? Oh, Hulkamania? Yeah. Ultimate okay. Warrior? Okay, Ultimate Warrior was one of them. Dusty Rose. Rowdy, Rowdy Piper. Ravishing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we gave it the, we gave the old school guys <laughs> enough this guy, credit. Guy, we just all told our age. Right? I'll be 23 this year. Yeah. So do you ever go back and look at like stuff from like the 90s and 80s, like wrestlers like that mm -hmm. that were like big back then? Yeah, like Shawn Michaels. Yeah, yeah. Triple H, Brock. Like I used to watch, I used to watch the old stuff, and then when I started watching the 2000 versions, I was like, oh, so this is like. PG era to do that. Okay. Did you ever get like when you were watching that? Did you ever get because this is what happened with me and this is why I skateboarded. But I would watch these sports that and I would never see like myself being represented on there. Because you're watching that, you're like, damn, all these guys are huge. Like I could never do this, but I love it. Or I could never, you know. But then when you saw like a little person on there wrestling and doing all that, did you did that inspire you? Like, yeah. okay, maybe it's like there a click. is. It was like, like a click in my brain, like, I want to do that. Was that, who was it for you? Like, was was Hornswoggle? Like, it was Hornswoggle like, first. Okay, I remember cool. it was Hornswoggle, the first time I saw him wrestle on TV. Then when I met um, two of the girls who were on WWF, when he told me, when Billy told me about him, I looked him up actually to see, and I was like, oh, I didn't even see these guys, because like, the only person I saw was Hornswoggle. He's By the way, Hornswoggle. Oh, really? Yeah. 25 yeah. Cent wants to wrestle you. I didn't wrestle him. Oh, you wrestled him? I wrestled him. You beat his ass. Did you beat his ass? No, he beat my ass. <laughs> he wants a rematch. <laughs> he wants a rematch. You know, you three. You know, there you go. A, a, a triple threat, like a like a mention triple threat. Yeah, match. triple threat. We got wings. We got. I'm sorry. We got twenty five. You know. Get this guy out of his house. <laughs> what do you mean? Dude? Do you still I just did a movie. I was out in New Orleans. Yeah, I was doing. Map, you were doing a movie in New Orleans. Orleans. Yeah. yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you're the tops you're, you're the No, get this guy out of his house. All he does is hang out with his puppy dogs. You could be a tag team. You could these two against. Hornswoggle and 25. You know? We oh, now we're all up. wrestling? You know? That would oh. bring okay. it in. I was like <laughs> the little people bit. wrestlers or midget wrestlers. Who is your favorite? Do you have one that you're like, oh, that guy's badass. I love him. I love the way he carries himself. I love his whole act. He's fucking super, super good. Besides yourself, obviously. I know, I know. I'm not going to say myself. No. Like out of WWE wise or out of like all no, this? No, out of the, 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 there's not many. There's like three. It's I'm him, him, about, and another no, guy. I'm talking about like, <laughs> like all the little different federations. Yes. What is there? Four federations? Six? Oh, there's probably. Yeah, there's, there's, they're up there now, six or seven, but. 
And they're all now, popular. now we need to do. Now you guys need to get all of them and do a mania. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh, not a micro mania. Like a mini fucking we big guys, mania. You guys battle each other that way. Come on, Billy. Actually, I'm trying to set up something. You're not a good promoter, Billy. Oh, well, I think Billy, we need to get. These guys will not. They will not. They bash me and everything, and it's funny because I'm trying to do a midget wrestling hall of fame too, and I want to. I want to put everybody together, like like a WrestleMania, like a micro mania, but everybody. Rivals together. Right? Yeah. Why not get get, get like a big like name, a like micro palooza. Horn swoggle to be involved. Yeah. Micro palooza. But Midget egos. palooza. Yeah. But egos are really yeah. big. He there's said there's ego, a lot of egos, you know. Well, or, not crush the egos. Which is good, but you know, when you're trying to do something like he was saying, like, do, let's do a Midget Hall of Fame. Let's do, you know, let's all get together and support what we all love. And it's like, oh, no, we can't do that. You know, it's like. Billy, Why? who 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 was uh, the toughest one in your 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 federation little uh, Midget well, Mania I, federation? I mean, I don't. I, I say when I say toughest, I mean like like I'd say like I mean Dylan Michaels. Uh, he's had three hip surgeries, and, and he's still he's 20, 22, 23 years old. Holy he's shit. been involved in wrestling his whole life. He, his dad was a wrestler. His grandfather, his uncle. Wait, his is that sister. Shawn Michaels' son? No, no, that's his. We gave him a character because oh. he was uh, he had a. He wrestled one match and it was like they had a weird name for him. I was like, man, let's come up with a good name. He's he's a really good looking guy. He has long hair. I said, why don't we like do? Uh, what's your middle name? He's like, my name is Michael. I said, why don't we do your name, Dylan? Dylan Michaels. There it is. That's all Shawn Michaels came up with. Dude, name, by he's got to have a, a thing where he comes into the ring and he has someone else um, in the ring with them, like a sidekick, and they're holding like a fan. Like, yeah, and his dude. fan is his hair is just always like blowing in the wind. Fabio, Fabio style. Fabio style. No, that's how he has a hair. He's called the Heartbreaker. We came up yeah. with the Heartbreaker, Dylan Michaels, and and you know with everything I've seen breaker. him go through with all the you know. With and he's hip he's wrestled with his hip popped but he's out, tough as nails, and he'll just huh? pop like, it right Jimmy, back in. I couldn't in. imagine just because I've been wrestling twenty five years and I'm I'm banged up and all that, but when I see him, uh, it actually inspires I think everybody because I mean three hip surgeries. Uh, you know whatnot, and that guy goes out. He flies, does all the flying. How out. how is the insurance in your whole thing? Do you guys get insurance? Not medical? Really. I don't think insurance? any wrestler has. Yeah, no, no, I know contractors. that. I was just why not? Any of that's changed. Oh, I mean, I'm sure they have wrestle like their own insurance and whatnot. But being independent, independent contractor and all that stuff. I mean, it's kind of like uh, uh, kind of like when it comes to insurance, just like anything else. What's your favorite? Who, 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 like when people are like, hey man, you're gonna wrestle this person. Don't yawn the question, bro. Damn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> Who do you like? <laughs> I'm sorry, Billy, I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Billy does have that average guy promoter like talk I like and look. Like average kind of. But or no, he's like just like, hey, you know, we, we, like, we get them together. Your, your and, voice uh, is very soothing. Okay? No. <laughs> 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 that's how he, that's a promoter oh, because he's, he's got to be sweet <laughs> and get into you. What's that? So he's like saying, who's my favorite person to wrestle with on the... Like who, when they're like, hey, you're going to wrestle this person, you're like, oh, shit, fuck, he's really good. Like, oh, she's really good, damn it. Mm. Okay, that was a good one. That's a good one. Um, they only wrestle three people. How many people. of you is there? Yeah, no, he wrestles her, I, and then he wrestles some other dude, them, or he wrestles who her. Who is your favorite I know, I know. to wrestle? Okay. That's what I know. they're asking. I know. Like who, like, who did you put on the best show with? Okay, I'm not going to... I think you and Dynamite put on a really good show. Honestly, I think you two really do. You two really put on a really good show together. And you and Masquerada, when you guys wrestle. Masquerada is so silent there. He's I like was going to say that. Silent and deadly. High energy. But these two, Mascarado. you know, when you see a man hitting a woman, you know, the it's like the crowd, you know, woo. You really? Know? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You and slapped then, the shit out of her? And Joe, she slaps There's, him, too. She no, slaps him. Mean, I'm not, I'm people sorry. yelling I mean, in the crowd, equal rights, equal rights. No, no, she'll slap the black out of me. And I'll just have to wipe so back in. <laughs> right. And I'll have to wipe back in. Yeah. Well, it is because, I mean, you know, it's a competition, you know. No, that's what With I mean. With the girl and the guy, to... you know, people are like, she can't. Domestic violence. She can't and do then that, when they see know? them getting so as feminine. intense as they get, it's almost like, oh, wow. You know, like, okay. You know, they don't expect that. Do you yeah. know when the, the nut twister's coming? Like, do you guys talk about oh. that in the beginning? <laughs> I would know when it's coming. Yeah, when the crowd like, when when I, when I, when I, Oh, by the way, I'm going to hear the crowd tell oh, okay. yeah. When I wrestled You're her, like, when I wrestled, I used to wrestle, I wrestled her first, and then when they said that the twisted dick spot. Twisted dick, yes. 
I know it's going to be coming, but I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what spot it's going to come. Oh, my God. If it's going to be the undercarriage like, yeah. like or the straight the, four or the round the It's always like, <laughs> well, yeah, it's like that. That's yeah. Like, her the middle finger can go in your asshole. Oh, you fucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> but, um, I wrestled Dylan Michaels, back. too. I would be afraid to put my one like, when I wrestled, there you go. Like when I wrestled Dylan Michaels and one time me and him wrestled, uh, when they chanted that shit, I was like, fucking do it. He's like, what I do? I was like, I'll just... Just fucking do it. Are you known for getting the dick twister? Sometimes it's the other way around, because sometimes I twist his dick and he twists mine. Okay. The next right. one. <laughs> um, are you guys planning on getting more people involved? So, more people yeah, because the show seems like... It's really hard to find little people to yeah. wrestle. I it's mean, we, we, really we hire, always hire hard. It, it yeah. doesn't help that LPA is and like... It, you know, yeah, like, it doesn't help because LPA will like literally go on and just... like. I have friends of LPs that are on my site, and it's just like, next thing you know, they're just like bashing. It's like, dude, it's a freaking photo of my my guys and us, you know, or mm. so, you know, something. And it's like, and and that's my thing. It's just like, you know, what is the, what, it, if you, even if you take the midget word out, what is the huge issue? What's the reason? Okay, but if you take the midget word out, then you label it something else that's not offensive to them. Mm -hmm. Would they back it then? No, because the not at all. Because the, don't. The, it, the group in Tennessee are... just came out with that TV show, Little Brawlers. There's nothing, no midget word in there at all. They even Blur blurred it out, blurred things out, everything like that. And LPA went online and posted a thing how they do not support them at all. They don't support the show on Discovery. They don't support. So they don't support. They they consider it from what I'm gathering that you guys are going up and degrading yourselves Basically. in front of America. Yeah, that's what they're looking at. And even if you took the midget word out and just called it yeah, little people wrestling like, or any of that, you know, you got a bunch of drunk people going and, you know. <laughs> you know did you, know, you ever, you know ever I mean? have like, that's just that doing world, all, like, any of your jackass stuff? Did, nope, did never anyone? once said one thing to me. Nope. I'll fuck all of them up. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that's, you know, and that's it's your choice. You know, yeah. yeah, it's like, and that's like, it's and their choice. And like, yeah, when, but you said that, and uh, when, sorry to point like that, that was weird. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> um, you, <laughs> you did it. <laughs> no, you said that like when, uh, when, when you did that. You and Bam had that thing where you. Oh like, What's no! Up, but that wasn't and that wasn't it, they, that they wasn't it little the people of America. No, I know. But Paramount did that. Paramount oh. in general. So in general, when we did, people are like, yeah, a little bit weird about the word because uh, when we did the big hand and I got Bam, I knew he would think we weren't filming if I called him a midget because he and I would do that at like places. What's up, I, midget? Yeah, I just go, "What's up, midget?" to him just to freak yeah. people out. And so when he was walking in, he came like the next day after we did it to everybody. And I'm like, hey, what's up, midget? You know, I tried yeah. to, you know, it's doing his voice. And he's like, oh, this is a fun day. Like, nothing's going to happen right now. I'm like, oh, I'm about to fuck your shit up. Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's when it happened. Paramount cut out midget. And I even went to, I went to editing and I'm like, oh, I fucking said it to him. Keep it in. They're like, no, we can't. We can't. And I'm wow. like, yeah. LPA so, probably has got their ball or their hands on, yeah, on movie like, shit. Yeah. Balls. Yeah. yeah. Somebody yeah. said the other. Uh, somebody told us this the other day. I didn't notice that back in the day, the Little People of America was called Midget of America or something like that. Yeah, I think they it did was. I with think Billy Barty. They, yeah, it was Barty. some article. Yeah, with Billy was, Barty. Barty named yeah. Midgets of America. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what he named it back in the fifties, and then they changed it. Did they change it? And that he agreed with it because he was still alive when they. Yeah, because he had to agree with yeah. it. Yeah, but yeah, geez. he was a buddy of mine. Yeah, he, my mom and him were really good friends. They they're, they're the ones that started the whole adoption. I used to agency. go to his house all the time when I was a kid. He was like so nice. He was five, so six years old. Dude, used to go. I tried. I wrote a script for him back in the like early eighties, like how he needed to do like a just a whole new little people Wizard of Oz. Movie oh, he wanted type to. I think, and he was like, you know, he I think I was like eight or nine. He's like, that is the best script I've read from an yeah. eight or nine year old. How are we looking? I was just like, oh, when did we start. We have five minutes left. Okay. All right, guys. This has been so lovely having you guys. I, I always feel like we have so much fun when it's 
That seems so people. fucking fake right now, dude. <laughs> you got off your phone, you're like, well, guys, I just wanted to tell you how <laughs> lovely it is. I was, I was, I was well, trying, well, yeah. Well, it well, was well, a great well, time. We just well, well, been getting Hollywooded out by this guy, Billy, so I figured I tried my Hollywood. <laughs> I was trying to Hollywood you guys. You know what? It's, it, it was a fun time having so, you guys. We had a good <laughs> chat, guys. So. <laughs> No, it's been yeah. good. I'm glad you guys came out oh, and did our show. Thank you for having us. Appreciate you know? it. But that was, we had some pretty interesting conversations. And yeah. thank you guys for being so open. Um, you guys, this comes out next week. So if you guys want to plug anything, any events that you guys anything got. Anything could say right there to that camera. And say if to you that are camera. in Las Vegas starting Memorial Day week, we have a new residency opening Where at, at the Nerd Bar on the end of Fremont Street by Heart Attack Grill. So we invite you go online to micromaniatour.com. You can get tickets. You can get tickets actually the day of the events at the Nerd Bar. You can also go on our Facebook, Micromania Tour. Check out all our tour dates and check out our Vegas residency. Micro what? Square Garden. Micro Square Garden. Micro That's Square the name Garden. of it. I love that. And is that for <laughs> Madison Square Garden? It's Micro yeah. Square well, Garden. Well, duh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. Bonk. Twenty-five cent. Where can people follow you? What's your What's your hashtags? What's your ats? My at Instagram twenty-five cent midget. TikTok is the same thing as my Instagram twenty-five cent midget. Damn, Sorry. I got fifty cents. I get two midgets. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Little dynamite. Um, lit l i t dot dynamite. Okay. And what about you, mascarito? Mascarita Sagrada. De Facebook, Mascarita Sagrada. La carne asada. Cute. Mascarita Sagrada. All I hear is tacos. Billy. All I see is El Taquito. (laughs) Hey, Don King, I mean Billy, what's up? (laughs) Uh, We got Michael Mini Tour, Instagram, Facebook, but um, if you're a little person or a midget or what do you want, you want to be a pro wrestler, no one can stop you. It's definitely a business and it's very rewarding. It's entertainment. If you guys want to do it, let us know. We train people. We bring them on the road. And it's a good little, I think it's a fun little thing. that We get to travel the world, see everything. And why is it, why is it a fun years. little thing? And this is coming from Billy, who's been a wrestler for 25 years. 25 and you're a professional wrestler as well. So, yeah. you know. I used to team up with Gang Grow back it's, in the day. It's authentic, I mean, uh, right? A little yeah. bit. Cool. A little bit. It's a little bit out there. Man. A little bit. All right. Well, thanks for coming out, guys. Thank it's you. It's been a great show. Good afternoon. Thank you. Welcome. Revolution. Yes.